Um, what's your take on Pharaoh being dug up and brought to Europe for the people to witness his remains as stated in Islam? Yeah, so um, that's from Mav002. Mav well, there's, a, there's kind of a positive and a negative to this question. The negative is that they desecrate our ancestors, um, for lack of a better word, graves, because they're always digging up our ancestors because those are the only ones they can find. And all these other people they speak about in religion, in Christianity, in Islam, they have no evidence because they don't find their remains. And so in that sense, it's a very disrespectful thing to do. It's like some stranger coming to your parents' grave and just digging them, taking them out just to experiment and put them on display. However, what it has also done is help the world to recognize who was here first and the fact that we were here before other races and from finding, you know, one person who they may have spoken about as a myth, let's say Osiris, for example, because when we say that Egypt predates the monotheistic religions, who they don't have any evidence or they can't find any of the people they talk about, and they used to say that the Egyptians were pagans and it's a myth and it's not real, but when they dig up and find them and take the DNA and realize that it's indeed that person, then it proves that the rest of the family also existed. So our ancestors um, kind of left certain um, clues, if you like, so they will find them because they knew that in the future, the science and um, the technology of the future is really DNA because now DNA is able to prove who was here first um, um, you know, who, who existed first and what they did, and that's now proven without a shadow of a doubt by anthropologists. 